Okay, well, here's my project that I've been working on all day. And uh, this is the rack that I made before in a previous video. And I've got two of the panels mounted. You see I have two more yet to mount. And this will actually hold three. But right now I just have them centered so that I've got it equal. And then uh, I'll get two more panels and I can just slide these over. Um, and then I'll put a third row right there. So I'll have six all together. But uh, I'll show you a couple close-ups of it. The wood structure is uh, nothing real, real, uh, real wonderful. I just started throwing stuff together and, until I got uh, what I was looking for, and uh, I didn't want to permanently anchor any of this into the ground, so I can move it later. But I did want to get these up. <clears throat> Here's how I uh, here's how I did the hinge part. Drilled a half inch hole in this block, and then drove that pin in it. Same thing up top. And then uh, right now I got these two panels wired into this box. The other two panels will, that are going to go there and there will come into that box. I've got that ran through here. Tied into there. And then ran over into the shed. And then these panels are going to have, I'm going to have to move them because uh, the shadow of the two larger panels here is going to block that in the afternoon. So I'll probably have to move that. Maybe, might, might work if I mount it on this pole. Okay, let's see what else we got here. So again, the wood structure is nothing real exciting, but uh, should hold. All right, let's see what. You uh, know, the sun. Let's see. The sun just went behind a club. It's going to pop out here in just a second. So let's see what we're getting. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, I had to make some noise so that uh, music was on there. Okay, so the two panels are wired in, and uh, so are the uh, other two against the fence. That sun's going to come out here in just a second. Let's see what let's see what just the two panels are going to produce by themselves. It's almost there. There we go, it's starting to should start to see this climb now. Hmm, there there we go. There we go, it's coming out of the cloud now. Much better production out of that uh, 10 gauge wire than those long extension cords. That's just, uh, that's just two of the panels. And then, uh, if I engage the other two, let's see what we get all together. About 450. Well, anyway, um, that's as far as I got so far, and um, that's the little panels pumping some juice into the battery bank. Uh, I am going to do a test on the uh, digital meter 
Um, I'm pretty sure uh, by looking at the meter that uh, I don't have a smart meter, but it just looks like a digital, um, which I'm going to assume that if I'm using electricity um, greater than I'm producing here, uh, it'll all go to the house. But if I'm producing more on this particular leg than, uh, than I'm using, it's not going to feed back into the grid. It's just going to kind of deadhead or it'll get it'll get fed back into the grid but um nothing's going to register and uh hopefully i don't uh it doesn't count my meter going forward so i am going to do a test when i have more time and i've got good period of sun i just wanted to get these panels to produce as much as i could uh before i did that test that way you know if i'm running 500 watts here i can run it for two hours straight and and then I know I've made one kilowatt hour, um, and then I can see if the meter moved or not. But I got to shut everything down in the house to do that, except for the one leg feeding out here to the shed. And make sure all my loads are off. So anyway, that's what my uh, project was for today. I'm gonna still work on it and try to get them other two panels mounted. But um, about plum tuckered, so work on it tomorrow if it's not raining. Alright, take it easy.